with the sixth pick in the 1997 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Ron Mercer from the University of Kentucky. Let me ask you, here you've got Rick Pitino, who had this guy in college, now he has him in the NBA. How easy does that make that, or does it make it at all tough? I, I think it makes it very difficult, but it's a testimony to the fact that Rick knows that he can play. I love Ron Mercer. I thought he was one of the most colorful kids that I saw coming out of high school, coming into college. I think he's going to be a tremendous pro, and again, you've got a guy that can play the game the way Rick wants it to be played. He's not just athletic, he's got the energy to play the game the way it should be played. The Celtics went small again in the sixth spot as Rick Pitino reunites with swingman Ron Mercer from Kentucky. At guard, six foot seven from Kentucky, number five, Ron Mercer. Play. Um, up tempo, a lot of running, a lot of running. Like to be, to be involved in it. Jones. A lot of shooting. He'll take it. Not a lot of flash. The dunk is going to make everybody, you know, look at you a lot more and you know, turn the game around. It's just a matter of what kind of dunk you do or how the dunk happens. Reads a three on two. Oh, what a move backwards! I think that will be on all the highlights tonight. Every aspect of the game, you know, just try to be able to do anything possible for you. Try to go out and do the things I'm capable of doing. The rookies come through big time. Ron was an All-American at Kentucky, where he played for his current Celtic coach, Rick Pitino. Now he's making the transition to the NBA. I think it's different from the college level, um, considering that you play maybe two or three times at the most um, a week during college. And now you're playing four or five games and you're traveling to different cities. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing that I had trouble with a little bit, just to adjust to. I really enjoy playing with Ron. He's picking up very well. Um, he's playing well. 
he's coming along and we really enjoy spending time with each other. And of course, I'm going to tell him, you know, my experiences from last year just to make that situation easy for him, and uh, he's really enjoying them. He sure doesn't play like a rookie in the NBA, does he? No, he doesn't. But I think far as individual things, I think that ha I think that happen. If I go out and do the things I'm capable of doing, then I let those type of things happen. But my main thing is to go out and win a championship. And Ron Mercer standing by now before he heads to Boston with Greg Slater. All right, we talked to you a couple weeks ago in Chicago. You said you wanted to play for Coach Patino in Boston, but everybody said for the past couple weeks he wasn't going to take you. What did you find out? What were your conversations with Coach? I, mean, I was just hoping that he would take me. I never knew what was going to happen. Uh, I figured that he, he wouldn't really pass me up, so I think all the talk kind of scared everybody off, and I ended up where I really wanted to be anyway. As a freshman, just eight points on a national championship team as a sophomore, the SEC Player of the Year. What sacrifices did you have to make for the good of the team? I mean, we had to put all the egos aside. You know, I just had to go in, play my role whenever my time came, just go in and do what I had to do when my time came. Does this make it easy for you to make the adjustment in the NBA, knowing that you already have played for that coach? I think so. I think it makes it a lot easier. I still have a lot of work to do, but then again, coach is familiar with me, and I'm kind of familiar with his system, so that helps me out a lot. Two position or three? Wherever he wants to put me at. <laughs> right, thanks a lot. Good luck. Let's go back to Ernie.